HTML in product descriptions may be on the skirts on Amazon. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. In this video, I'm going to talk through what we're seeing in the seller forms and what we're seeing from seller support cases about HTML descriptions. So in the product description right here, you can see in this particular listing, I've got some break HTML codes. Other codes that have commonly been accepted in the past include P for paragraph, uh, as well as Lee for bullet points. Uh, and, and, and those are basically the three main ones, the paragraphs, the line breaks, and the bullet points. I think you can also do some bolding in the past as well or strong code. Uh, what, what we've seen, though, is on the seller form here, uh, if you go and look at it, this post in the last day, uh, one person writes, in order to provide security for our customers as well as versatility to list products on non-HTML devices after July 17th, 2021, we will stop supporting the use of HTML tags in the product descriptions. So this appears to be um, an indirect signal. Um, we have not seen any official Amazon uh, news related to this, but sometimes what happens is that uh, the catalog team will get a note. Uh, they start telling sellers, you know, direct correlation or causation. Um, and they'll say, hey, you need to make these changes because there's a problem on your listing. And then eventually uh, enough contact is made or we get closer to that July 21st, 17th date rather. And then Amazon will come out and publicly state the policy. So it is possible that this policy could shift before Amazon publicly talks about it. But by and large, it's pretty safe to assume this is going the way of the dodo bird. We've seen uh, that Amazon has also made some changes to how product descriptions display on Amazon. So on my Age of Sage listing here, the A plus content is all that displays and the product description does not display. But on many listings, what we've seen in change and basically since January is that the product description will now also display in addition to the A plus content. So it does make sense to fill in your product description, but you may want to take out those HTML codes. Now, Amazon does claim that they do not use A plus content or the product description for SEO algorithm search term ranking purposes, but we know for a fact that they do. And you can test this yourself. You can put uh, a keyword in one of those fields, such as a Spanish word in the alt text of a photo, and it will start indexing. So that's why uh, product descriptions do make sense to fill out. And now that they're potentially public facing, you do want to make sure your copy is a little bit clean. One other random thing that we saw recently is that at least in the EU, we saw on one account today that there's now a transfer account button inside of the business information. How nice would it be that when you sell your Seller Central account that you can find a way to quickly transfer it? Well, it may be coming to the U.S. soon. Don't know for sure. Haven't seen this on other U.S.-based accounts at all. A recent service we added at My Amazon Guy you do want to be aware of is Canadian Trademarks. This just came in this morning. This was mind-boggling speed. Filed it at 7.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Placed the order with MAG for a Canadian trademark by 8.43 p.m. Received the filing serial number. Full instructions for Canada. Hijacker removal. He filed the case at 8.52. And by 8.54, he had his first hijacker removed from his Canadian listing. So door-to-door -door Total time, 90 minutes. So we do know that removing hijackers inside of Canada is totally worth it and possible. We have a full guide on brand registry if you haven't seen that. Check us out for your trademark purposes to file a Canadian trademark or a U.S.-based trademark at myamazonguy.com.